Hello everybody, welcome. I am the old food guy. Now today, let me show you what I've done today. I've made a ball tea. Right, say that. But I'm going to turn it into a sausage roll. So it's going to be a ball tea sausage roll. I've never done these before. So will it work? Don't know. Let's find out. Right, so first things first, let's get the puff pastry opened up. I've had it out for half an hour to uh, get to room temperature because apparently that's supposed to be better. Now with this, I think I'm going to cut it into four. One, two, three, four, I think, because I'm going to have to crimp the ends. You know on the sausage roll at the ends when it, there's no crimpers and the sausage comes out. I think with the ball tea, because it'll just all spurt out. I think if I crimp the ends together, then we'll see. It might turn out like a pasty, I don't know. But let's try. So if I cut it into four, or you might need to cut it into six actually, it might be a bit too big for, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, let's cut it in, let's cut it again. I've got a spare in case I make a mistake. I say it's gonna be in the air fryer. I mean, everybody likes balties, don't they? So, now I've had my balti calling for about an hour. Now, that balti I've, I've made, there is a recipe on my channel. I'll leave a link and uh, have a look at it. I did do it in the instant pot, but you can also do it on the, on the stove in a uh, frying and a saucepan. It cost me about £3.70 to make for a balti. Cheap as chips, and it tastes delicious. Now let me get a spoon. I've also got just some egg wash. Just put an egg in there and just mix it together just to get the ends in. Now I don't know whether this is going to work. It's trial and error. So I'm going to do get a bit of chicken. Bit of chicken. Let's get it in the middle. Then I want to roll it over. I want to get some egg wash. I'm all over the place today. All over the place. Should get some egg wash for the ends. I'm going to have to do the other ends as well because it's, it's going to have to be crimped. Roll it over. Gonna be a bit messy obviously because it's bolted. Get a fork. Let's move them out of the way a minute. And we'll do one at a time. We'll crimp it together and see what happens. I'll just crimp it with a fork. So you can have all the ends come out, but if it's crimped, it should be okay. Don't matter what it looks like, it's how it tastes, that's the main thing. Okay, there's one. Looking nice. What do you think? And we'll take, we'll make two and we'll try them. So that puff pastry there from Aldi was only like 90p. You know, I think they're 32 quid up uh, Tesco's, I think. There's the other one. Lovely. Put some egg wash on them. Just to brown them up a bit. And then we'll stick them in the air fryer, but I don't know how long to put them in for. Maybe 15 minutes. I think when you're looking in the air fryer, ain't you looking about half, it's supposed to be half the time, is it? So that's them done. They're looking nice. So what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll warm the air fryer up, then we'll stick them in, and then we'll have a look. Right, I've warmed that air fryer up a little bit. I'm just gonna stick a bit of non-stick in the bottom, just in case it sticks. And then we're gonna get uh, get these. I hope I haven't made them too big. I mean, they look nice, look. Oops, I think it should just fit.
Problem is, will the cook? Or will it be too big? Or will it just all spurt out? Because I know sausage rolls, you're supposed to put a bit of thingy on the top. Slash them a bit, but you can't, can you? Because all the juice will come out. Well, I'm going to stick them in, 180 degrees. Oh, 180 degrees, 15 minutes. There we go. And I'll bring you back halfway through and we'll have a look. Right, so it's at half time. Let's have a look. Oh my God. Look at them. Absolutely, look at them. Oh, it's a bit stuck at the bottom. Look at them things. Jesus. Can put that on there. Look at them. Wow. That been in for uh, nine minutes. Jesus Christ, let's see if I can get them out. I might have cooked them a little bit big, longer. A bit, a bit too big, I mean. Because he's trying to get them out. It's going to be my problem. And they cooked underneath. They look cooked. Uh, should have put some. Oh no. Oh no, it's splitting. I Should have put parchment paper at the bottom. That's what I should have done. Yeah, I can't get them out. Um, but wow. Well, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to stick some parchment paper at the bottom. I'm going to clean all that up. Well, they look nice, so they're cooked underneath. I mean, very crispy. I mean, look. Boiling hot. I'll tell you that much, burning my fingers. Um, let's cut one open and just have a quick look. I'm going to do it again anyway, I'm going to put some parchment paper in the bottom. Oh my god. I'll let them cool down a minute. I'll clean that up. Then I'll put some more in. I've made some more. But I'll put some parchment paper in the bottom. And then we'll try and I'll give that a little taste test while that's doing. I'll let it cool down first though. So I'll clean all that, then I'll bring you back. Right, I've cleaned all that out. I'll put a bit of parchment paper in the bottom. Just maybe more stuff from sticking so much. Might be a bit easier to get out. Now let's stick another couple back in. But I'll tell you what, they look gorgeous, don't they? Don't they look nice? I might make them a bit too big as well, but... They look absolutely gorgeous, man. Well, I'm going to stick that back in. I'm going to stick it on a... Have you done what? Was it nine minutes? I'm done ten minutes. I think last time something like. What's it going for? Fifteen again? And I can always check. But look at that. Let's cool down a little bit now. See that? Look how nice that looks. Should we have a little taste test? It's a bit warm still. Could have done with a couple of minutes at the bottom. See. Mmm. Oh. It's absolutely stunning. Could have done with say another minute maybe at the bottom. Maybe that's why it's stuck. Maybe I didn't need the parchment paper. Maybe I should have just left it a couple more minutes to do the bottom. But that is absolutely stunning. Brilliant. As I say, do like content like this. I'm just a normal bloke, the old food guy, cooking in my kitchen. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, leave a comment. I say we'll let these carry on and we'll try them again. I've got loads of curry left, look. Loads. Good for a snack, then. Look at that. Look, the juices.
It's superb. Maybe another minute for the bottom, that's all. Gotta stop eating then because otherwise I'm gonna eat my tea. Well, I'll think about it when that's done. And we'll see what these ones turn out like, see if we can get them out in one. It's all trial and error. See you in a minute. Right, let's get them out again. Ho 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 ho, my god. Look at them beauties. It was in for 13 minutes. That's better, it's a lot better with that parchment paper on there. Oh my Jesus, look at them. Absolutely stunning. What do you think? Trial and error, you see, first time. First time we stuck to the bottom. This time they're perfect, look at that. Oh, that's a lot better. Look at the flakiness. Look at all the flakes coming off it. That's perfect. Look. Wow. Absolute wow. That's stunning. Absolute stunning. Look at them. Look at them. Oh my God. Look. Jesus Christ. I'm happy with them. You happy with them? Jesus. They are absolutely stunning, they are. Right. You know what time is now then? Taste test time. Over to the table. So there we go then. Look at them. Absolutely stunning. Look, crispiness. Booty sausage rolls in the air fryer. Wow. Look at that. Not bad for the first time, eh? Look at it. As I say, let's try it. Right, there we go then. Let's get it cut open and let's have a look inside. Listen to that crunch. Oh, look at that beauty. Could have put a bit more sourcing, but I was a bit worried. But look at the flakiness on it. Look at it flaking. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Absolute wow. just kicked in. Can you hear that? I do apologise. You can tell the goods when they're flaky. When they get everywhere, that's what you call a good sausage roll. They are absolutely perfect. Booty sausage roll, look at that. You literally can't go wrong. Absolutely amazing. The flakiness. So I could have maybe cut them a bit wide, that's got more filling inside. But you learn by your mistakes. Because it's puffed up, there isn't really a lot at the top. Or maybe roll them a little bit tighter. But for the first time, they're superb. Absolutely superb. Wow. Right. So I am the old food guy. If you do like content like this, give us a like, give us a subscribe. I upload every day. I don't know what I do every day. I just think of something. 
and just try it and see if it works. That's worked. That took what? 15 minutes? No, 14 minutes I think it took. And it's perfect. So I say, bought your sausage roll in the air fryer. Simple, easy, budget food. So until tomorrow, see you later. Bye bye. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Try it. You won't be disappointed. Bye.